Hey, what's going on, fans? Welcome to Mike Bree TV 2. And guys, this is the video I know some of you have been waiting for. <laughs> I haven't done these in a, in a while now, so you have to bear with me. This is the Everything Wrong series. Now, for some of you, oh, you 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 copying off of Cinema Sins? No, I'm I'm a different I'm a different person. I do different. This is a totally different concept. I may pick the same stuff he does, not really, but it's movies that I recently seen or movies I want to do, and I tell tell the people you what's wrong with the movie because I thought it sucked, it was trash, and I you guys really need to watch this video, man. If you guys like the Brendan Fraser Mummy movies, then guess what? I'm pretty sure you happy watching this because it's saved. Trust me, I think it's saved because re recently Tom Cruise, he's such that there's nothing wrong with Tom Cruise. Okay, I, I like I like some movies that Tom Cruise has been in, but as he gets older and older, if he doing these generic action films, it's like I can't take you seriously, man. It's like you doing the same stuff, and we know you gonna survive because you a superhero. You don't get hurt easily. You're not vulnerable. Like Age of Tomorrow. I liked Age of Tomorrow. That was probably the only only time he was vulnerable, always getting killed and and acting scared and being a pussy and running away from something. But guys, in this mummy movie, this remake, this reboot, was so trash. It made the Brendan Fraser ones actually seem realistic. And maybe that was probably the real that was probably the only <laughs> the only thing close to a mummy movie that we got. Guys, in the beginning of this movie, I'm going to tell you what's wrong with it right now. In the beginning of this movie, the the feel of it all, where, where Tom Cruise and Jake Johnson's character, it almost felt like we were watching the Brendan Fraser ones. From the beginning, it was set like the Brendan Fraser one, where they were they out in the desert try, trying to find something. But in, this, but in this instance, they're thieves. They're trying to steal something. And that whole action sequence, we we saw it from the trailer. I thought it was going to be longer than that. That shit was short as fucking lame as hell. Because guess what? Oh, the 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 the, the, the I guess the people that that were shooting at them, they run away in their horses. They're scared. They find they find the 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 mummy prison. It's not a tomb. It's a prison. That whole that whole setup was so lame. Jake Johnson was annoying. I'm just going. I'm just going to skip to a couple of things here to, to make this shorter for you of of everything wrong. With this movie, exposition, exposition. The tone of it is so goofy and so lame because Tom Cruise is a generic actor. It's like my God. I think they they could have chosen a different actor and maybe if they would have changed the storyline, they actually could have made this Mummy movie actually likable and pretty cool. But because they didn't do anything cool or new to it no twists and it's generic tom cruise after jack reacher 2 i didn't see jack reacher 2 but that should have told you oh man this about to be trash too jack reacher 2 trash i didn't watch it and this movie is trash long story short to sum this movie up in the end spoiler alert i don't care tom cruise is the mummy we, 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 I think it's the second or third trailer where they show Tom Cruise turn into a monster and choke Princess Amanek. So we already saw that in a trailer from what I saw. So I already knew Tom, Tom Cruise was the mummy. So this was this whole movie was an origin story of Tom Cruise becoming a mummy. And at the end, Russell, Russell Crowe, the only cool... That, that was probably the only cool part of the movie. Uh, he played Mr. Joker and Miss Mr. Hyde. That's probably the only cool part of the entire movie. I laughed probably once. Tom Cruise running because uh, the mummies were chasing after him. But guys, <laughs> Russell Crowe gives exposition because you know in these gen in these lame generic action movies and mummy mystery stories, every time what the what the what what does the narrator always say? Oh, the main character, he's cursed, or he's a monster. He's going to have to live like this. And they show Tom Cruise out there in the desert by himself with, with a drape, with like a drape over his head. He's like, he's a monster now. We have to search the world and find a cure for him. So, so you know, we'll come back to Tom Cruise because they're going to make another one. It was like, man, bull, BS. I don't care about all that. And him and Jake, Jake Johnson ride off in the horse together. Oh, man, please. 
This movie was trash. I could not believe how trash this was, man. It makes the it, it makes me want to go back to the Brendan Fraser ones and watch them. I thank you, Brendan Fraser. How Hollywood doesn't like you and think you're trash, or whatever. But choosing Tom Cruise, maybe that was a bad decision. That's what I think. But anyway, guys, that is the end of the everything wrong with the 2017 Mummy. Couldn't believe it, man. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you like this video, then hit that like. Uh, I always do videos like this, everything wrong series. If you want me to do another one, um, have a suggestion in the comments. Um, a little bit of reactions, a little bit of vlogs, and a little bit of news reports and more on Might Read TV too. So you have to stay tuned because you never know what type of video I'll make. All right, guys. All right, I'm out.